welcome back to my channel. As you all know, we have been streaming the Reconciliation Road Fridays from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. at YKUC. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe and like the channel. Go ahead and smash the unlike button if you do not like the channel. Any feedback is appreciated. And I really just want to take a moment to say thank you to all those who are following along with the narrative of this show. So in continuation of our last conversation about the National Day for the Truth and Reconciliation funding application, um, update is basically going to say that uh, we did not actually put the full application in. We're missing two pages, so we're going to be submitting those today. And what we'll be doing is just taking a picture of each page and then sending it along in the email to peers underscore k reps at government.nt.ca. And yeah, we we're just hoping that we, we uh, are eligible for the funding that is set in place uh, for the events taking place on September 30th of this year. We will be celebrating our cultures in the Northwest Territories. And for those of you who are new to the channel, um, we would like to thank you for taking the time to, to joining us. And uh, I would like to update you at the end of this video with some news and events get you up to date. Alright, topics will be startup ideas, resources, funding, leadership, marketing. Available now from uh, Criterion Pictures, The Commandments Shadow. I don't know if anybody is interested in books. Uh, this follows a Hans Jürgen Haas, the 87-year-old son of Rudolf Haas, as he faces his father's terrible legacy for the first time. His father was the camp commandment of Auschwitz and masterminded the murder of over a million Jews. The life of Haas and his family was recently fictionalized in the Academy Award-winning The Zone of Interest. And you can contact the... Uh, CriterionPick.com. Uh, this is a credit to e news. They're selling this new book. It's a documentary, so it's based on a true story and it falls in line with uh, reconciliation um, after much needed healing for trauma based symptoms from colonization. And Unfortunately, people try to wipe our people off the face of the earth. So now we like to talk about those things. And leading up to publishing the website, viewing the website, uh, what are some questions that we have about this? So we talked about the, uh, the podcast, which is in the works, because we don't know exactly what avenue to take. Other than starting up the, the website, which is up and running now, you can visit that website at northernsolutionsyellowknife.com. So in this article, we'll be talking about the Wix editor publishing the website. It was rather simple, actually. Uh, we're just trying to figure out how to set up the payment options for customers to purchase the products on the website because the, the pictures are up there and we'll be editing the text and the visuals in the next week or so uh, to reflect the Reconciliation Day and what we're doing to promote that, including a craft sale and an upcoming fashion show. We have mentioned this message, but we mentioned that before, but we're, we're actually going to focus on Studio 88. The question that was on the table was, what do I need to start the podcast? 
What can I use on my laptop to start the podcast? What do I need to record for the podcast? And what formats do I need for the podcast to be in? And we discovered that MP3 is the needed um, format in order to follow through with the guidelines of the podcast. Uh, it um, would be acx.com. Uh, there's a profile made, but we do need to wait for qualifications on narration. So recording attempts and successes will be uh, will be cataloged, and we're just busy making titles for all those catalogs. All right. As we're on that subject, the audiobooks will not be available until they are posted on audible.ca and there will be a link that will be available for uh, the shop. It will be like a, a craft shop link. It will be connected to Amazon once we figure out how to hook up the payment options. So thank you again for joining us. On this Friday the 13th, I hope everybody is doing well, you're eating well, and, and your families are all taken care of. Uh, leading into this, this weekend, I'm hoping that everybody is in good health. I was not well to do the in-class session today, so I'll only be doing the online class. I'm not going to be in, uh, in the class today. So, pre- pre-recording this show, I'm going to post it later today, and hopefully get some feedback on all of it we can look forward to in the next, next few weeks. Alright, so the next thing I wanted to mention... The nice thing that you can do with your family, taking photos of your favorite people, Posting cards of happy memories, somewhere that, that you want to go in the future, like a vision board. Um, print your favorite artwork. Uh, you can also learn some language by post- posting some language on your fridge or on your cupboard, on your toaster, or on your stove, in places where you see the words so you can learn some language. Uh, invest in some art supplies. We invest- beads. We also purchased a magnifying glass and a a box of clasps for jewelry making so that we can continue our 13 creations projects. So in the visual sense of creativity, going on walks in nature is really healthy. It's a good way to get nice pictures also. Planting flowers, sitting in a garden, visiting an art museum, visiting a friend, um, giving somebody a gift. Uh, Visual arts is a really good way to interact with uh, creativity and to to heal your emotional trauma. I would like to remind you that our bookmarks are available at 13 Creations. If If you're not a group member, you can join on Facebook. Uh, facebook.com slash 13 creations and you can view our books our bookmarks there and our cards that are available um, all you have to do is message us and tell us what kind of card stock you want it on and if you want it blank most of our cards are blank and most of our uh, bookmarks are laminated so in line with the visual uh, trauma healing. I'd like to uh, suggest maybe lighting a candle in memory of somebody that you've lost or that you miss. Lighting a flame or a candle in a flat fireplace or near um, uh, your favorite place to hang out is a really nice way to create some ambience in the room. Decorating your home with uh, sooth- soothing colors, welcoming, inspiring art, uh, laying on the ground, Touching the grass, you know, the winter is coming really soon. Everyone would be a really good idea to 
to, um, to absorb all the nature that you can before the snow comes. Um, yeah, taking a look at the clouds, taking pictures of the clouds, blowing bubbles, watching the wind blowing in the leaves and the trees, um, creating a positive, a positive uh, environment is, is a very healthy way to spend with your family for the weekend, so I'm just suggesting that because um, I haven't been feeling well myself this week and I'm not sure how everyone else is feeling. I'm just sending out some good vibes out there and um, just saying hang in there and WT stay strong. All right, I just wanted to say thank you to Reverend Allison for her creative self soothing soothing kits. Um, that's this is where I'm getting the ideas for the vision, touch, and sound, smell, and taste creative ways to interact with your surroundings. And I think it's a really nifty idea and I'd be using it to, to focus uh, when at times when I'm not feeling so motivated. Alright, so yeah, I think I've covered pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for, uh, for the podcast and the website. And now I'm going to be moving on to the newsletter. Treaty and land sharing. Keep learning, keep celebrating. Ways to support Indigenous communities year-round. Indigenous women dancing in traditional clothing as National Indigenous Peoples Month is coming to uh, a close. We hope everyone enjoyed ex exploring, learning about, and celebrating Indigenous peoples, rich cultures, histories, and languages. We are looking forward to Reconciliation Day to further celebrate our peoples and, uh, and support them on their journeys. Please continue to, to learn and celebrate throughout the year. Here are just a few ways to support Indigenous peoples. You can make a donation to the Healing Fund. The Healing Fund, established in 1994, is a grant that, on, that supports healing initiatives in Indigenous communities to address the ongoing impacts of the residential school system. Justice and Reconciliation Fund, JNR Fund. The JNR Fund was established in 2000 by the Residential School Steering Committee of the United Church of Canada to assist the church in understanding and responding to the legacy of harm and broken relationships that have resulted from the Indian residential school system. Indigenous ministers retreat, northern indigenous commu communities are facing an ongoing state of emergency and their ministers are the only ones readily available to offer care comfort and guidance in these situations. For more information and video messages shared by Indigenous ministers for a pastor's retreat, visit the United Church website and consider a gift to the pastor's retreat today. Miigwech, thank you for your valuable time and consideration in gifting to Indigenous initiatives. To learn more and stay connected, follow the UCCAN Indigenous Ministries Facebook page. Please have a look at their website. Uh, yeah, and the United Church Bookstore also has the Holy Bible available in Mohawk if you are interested in that. That's a brand new one that just came out this year. Uh, September 1st, celebration uh, was for an opportunity of prayer services. Um, yeah, lots of planning events. Kids are back in school. I want to mention that you can sign up for PAR. I'm not sure if anybody else, anybody knows about PAR and what PAR is. But you can actually donate through PAR to the church without actually going to the church. Or if you if you were just like going like once in a while and you could go in there and praise the Lord like once a week or once a month. And, uh, and you can donate straight to the church. Uh, through the PAR system, and you can find that at see here. Oh, where is it? The PAR website. Oh, it doesn't look like we have it on there. 
I'll have to put the link into that. I didn't notice it didn't have a link on it. So, pretty sure you could probably do that through Northern Spirit. I don't know exactly 100%. So it's a good thing that I checked that out. Season of Creation resources available now. Season of Creations. Permission and service with Pearl. Yeah. It's northernspirit.com. Check it out. And I'm not sure if there's anything else that I need to mention at this time. Thank you for joining the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. If not, hit the unlike button. I don't mind. It feels like the server. I want to know if you like me or not. So everyone have a good weekend. Love, light, and laughter. Matthew Jeff.